I greatly valued the juicy tale that was woven, notwithstanding reservations. Okay, ready? Five seconds before the performance. Places, everybody. Welcome to Theatre First with Alex First. What's the truism? Behind every great man there's a woman? There'd be few arguments that the greatest writer of all time was William Shakespeare. But what if Shakespeare, who's credited with writing at least 37 plays and collaborated on several more, didn't actually do so? I mean, what if it wasn't Shakespeare who wrote them? Rather, a young woman named Amelia Bassano. That's the contention explored in I Am Amelia Bassano, a play which includes songs written by John Wachowski and directed by Bryony Dunn. It's a parody and is running in the main gallery of Just an Art House Museum, in line with its Art and Gender exhibition. The plot unfolds with Amelia, played by Chiara Ariza Stellato Pledger, alongside her jester sidekick Touchstone, Lachlan Watts. On the personal front, I Am Amelia Bassano paints Shakespeare unfavourably, as a drunkard with illiterate daughters. Before ghosting Shakespeare's works, the piece contends that Amelia was mentored by Christopher Marlowe. In turn, she became his muse and lover and bore a child with him. Amelia was the Jewish daughter of Venetian-born musician Baptiste Bassano and his wife, who was of Moroccan descent. Amelia was introduced to Queen Elizabeth I, who received music lessons from Baptiste and had high regard for him. After a scholarly upbringing, Amelia would go on to become one of the first published female poets. Still, as a woman of foreign heritage, for much of her life she had to hide her identity. It takes a while to appreciate just what's going down in I Am Amelia Bassano, although the assertion of the playwright of her role in history is never in doubt. I greatly valued the juicy tale that was woven, notwithstanding reservations. That is, I cared more for the dramatizations than for the levity. The silliness didn't sit all that comfortably with me. I thought it was childish. At time, the work breaks the fourth wall, with the actors directly addressing the audience. I felt that was unnecessary, although I don't question Pledger and Watts' acting chops. Both are quite accomplished and play multiple roles with ease. In addition to being Amelia, Pledger also channels Queen Elizabeth I. Watts is the jester, the angel of death, Marlowe and Shakespeare. An understanding of historical context in which the production is set would be a distinct advantage. But even without that, the play whets one's appetite to learn more about the time period. Marlowe is credited as Shakespeare's co-writer on three of the Bard's plays. And of course, the common thread in I Am Amelia Bassano is indeed the woman herself. Intriguing? You betcha. I Am Amelia Bassano is playing at Justin Art House Museum, 3 Lumley Court Paran in Melbourne, until the 21st of August, 2022. You've been listening to Theatre First with Alex First. Available at Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio or your favourite podcast player. You can also stream on demand at Bytes.com. This has been another quality podcast production from Bytes.com.